Cool, 447, number of boomerangs. Uh, given n points in a plane that are all pairwise distinct, a boomerang is a tuple of points i, j, k, such that the distance between i and j equals the distance between i and k. The order of the tuple matters. Uh, find the number of boomerangs. You may assume that n is at most 500, and the coordinates of points are in the range of 10,000 to 10,000. Okay. Oh, so, okay. Mm. Then it's 500, then we can... Now we can do an n square thing. Okay, let's do that then. I don't think of any weirdness around it. That's not what I expected to happen. I can make it explicit. I guess I could use a help direction. I guess it actually just could go the entire way, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. 
Okay, so now we map the distance uh, on the out. It's not that bad, maybe. Let's see. Mm. Mm, yeah, okay, maybe this one, this way is that right? Then we add it first, and then now. Uh, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. well, there's two. This is N choose two. It is this choose two, right? Which is just this times. Oh, is it choose two? Because we could go in both directions. So maybe it's not in choose two, just that's clear. Let's solve this. Well, n times n times n times n minus one because it cannot be n. It's not n square. Wow, that is a terrible parentheses on my end. Actually, maybe that's fine. Okay, let's try some. A little bit more involved example uh, where uh, okay, let's make this like a star. So this should be four in each way, so the four in the middle. This should be twelve or something. 20, well, uh, well, that is the right answer, so, oh, yeah, because, well, the, the inner one has 12, but there's more, so, okay, fine, uh, let's just test the cell cases, I think that should be okay, excuse me, was it a little slow? I don't think my code is that slow, right? <laughs> it's not for n is equal to like 5, so it's probably just stuff on the lead code side. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's kind of fast, so. Cool. Uh, still a little bit slow on the slow side because it's n squared. We probably have done some optimizations about it, but um, yeah, but I'm not going to try, try too hard. Uh, cool. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky for easy, maybe, but. Mm. Quite good and smaller. Mm. I mean, we use more memory. We could definitely have been uh, at least make this like half as fast or twice as fast. So maybe that that was good. But yeah, because instead of doing this n square thing, we have an n choose two thing, which is twice as big. Um, yeah, but overall this is still an easy problem. Uh, we just kind of hash things and maybe you can pre-calculate some of the stuff. But um, yeah, it's just basically you hash in the distance, you count the number for each point, um, how many points are some distance away, and then you hash based on that, and then you just you know do the math afterwards and then sum them all up. Uh, yeah, uh, overall probably a little bit little bit tricky for easy but not that tricky so it was something that I actually would not mind seeing on an interview just so that they get your thought process as you kind of walk through each of these steps as well um it's a very straightforward problem but yeah but for a tech part it probably is a very a little bit on the screening side so it's a little bit on the easy side cool um oh yeah it might my goes n square that's mostly it and n space
yeah cool all right